here. Today in this video I am happy to say that FX Home has released the newest version of HitFilm Express and that is HitFilm Express 2017. Yeah! So in this video I am going to go through all of the really cool new features that you will be able to see in this outstanding and absolutely incredible free piece of software. HitFilm Express 2017 comes with some very powerful new audio tools. Two of my favorite are the Audio Sync for perfect alignment as well as variable frame rate transcoding. Consider the intro for this video. HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video I am happy to say that FX Home has released... Blah. Let me say that again. So in HitFilm 4 Express, you would have to take that intro video footage, drag it into Handbrake, then you would have to mess around with uh, all the settings to get a good transcode, then you would transcode it. So that took about 60 seconds. Then you would have to drop this footage along with the audio footage, and then you would have to try and sync these two together. So you'd put this footage here, you would then um, insert another track and you'd drop your audio footage and then you'd have to start zooming in here and seeing if you can sort of align these things, right? Also, look at how small these audio waveforms look like. They're pretty darn small and they're pretty hard to see and so it'd be really difficult to slide this around and try and figure out and it took a long time. So now let's do it in the HitFilm Express 2017. Of course, because it is video footage that was captured with a cell phone, it is captured in a variable frame rate, which is why we had to run it through Handbrake to make it into a fixed frame rate. Well, in HitFilm Express 2017, it does that for you. So all you have to do is grab the footage and drag it in and then let it do its thing. So HitFilm Express has transcoded that footage automatically, so I don't need to do that. Then it's just a simple matter of right-clicking on both of those files and say merge the audio and the video together. And then after I have that, I can delete the two original ones and just work with the footage that has been merged. And it works perfectly. HitFilm Express 2017. Lastly, Take a look at these audio waveforms. You can really actually see what's going on there. One of my favorite things about Express 2017 is they've added light sword effects. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So no longer have to cheat using other things like the lightning effect, but we could drop light sword effects right in here. So let's talk about how to do a trackable light sword. I bring in my trackable light footage, static sort of movement, not hardly any movement at all, right? Well, what I would do is, is I would make this into a composite shot, and then I would attach points to here and here using the tracker. So what I've done is, is I have tracked both the hilt and the tip of the blade prop and then I have assigned that data to two different points. And so as I play this, you can see that those things move with that. So now all I have to do is search for the light sword effect, which of course is a lightsaber effect. And I could drop this right onto the footage or I can drop it onto a new plane layer, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to set the screen mode here to uh, screen, the blend mode, I mean, to screen. 
And I'm going to drop that on there. And what I will do is, of course, assign the hilt to the hilt point and the tip to the tip point. And there it is attached, right? The beautiful thing about this is, is that I can change all of these things however I feel like it. I can change the inner glow colors, you know, the outer glow. And so as a result, you get a really super nice looking lightsaber effect. So let's talk about how to do a fast moving lightsaber. What I would do is, is I would take my fast moving lightsaber footage uh, and I would make it into a composite shot just like I did before what I will do is I will create a new plane call it blade and make sure it's black because it goes off the frame I'm going to need to up the scale to 110 percent and of course I want this to be a screen blend um, and then I'm going to add my light sword 2.0 onto that okay uh, I'll make some adjustments here as far as um, you know what I want the blade to look like and then what I will do is I will start by moving the blade into place, right? Each of the uh, things that I want it to be on, right? Starting here and there, for example. I'm going to keyframe the positions, and then I'm going to move forward a frame. And then I will replace the endpoints of both the tip and the hilt to exactly where I want it to be. And what you'll notice is, is that hit film itself will calculate the motion blur of the blade as it's going along. So if I move forward another frame and I place the hilt point in a place and then I place the tip point in another place, you can see that it is creating the motion blur automatically so you don't actually have to do that. Isn't that really, really cool? Also, you have the choice of using a four-point manual light sword and using just the glow only, which can actually be used in doing all kinds of other special effects as well. Hit film. Express 2017 also comes with a really cool heat distortion effect. So let's say that I had a picture of a desert and I made it into a composite shot. And then I wanted to add sort of a heat uh, waves coming up here off of this. Well, this is really simple to do. I'm going to search for the heat distortion effect and I'm going to drag it right onto this picture and it's that simple. Now, if I, that's going to be a lot of heat distortion, by the way. So what I probably would do is scale that down to something a little smaller, right? Um, what could I use heat distortion for? I could use it for this desert scene. I could use it for jet engines or, uh, you know, some other kind of a hot fire, bl you know, blasting or something like that. Now, what if I only want part of this frame to be under the heat distortion effect. Well, what I can do is I can use the masking tool here within the heat distortion. So I might create a new plane layer. And then what I will do is I will just drag that plane layer up until it's only covering the part of the picture that I want. And I will move that plane layer in the back. And then I will say only attach it to the plane layer or only have the heat distortion effect happen behind here and check it out. Oh, Ooh, man, it's really hot. <sighs> also, what you will find in Express 2017 are industry standard J cut and L cut tools. So, for example, let's say I have this scene. You know, you're a total idiot. And another thing, you can't call me an idiot. So you can tell that it doesn't really work very well. But if I were to take this cut and draw it back to here, and then I were to take this one and draw it back to about here, and then mix them here, and then I use the Alt key 
I can actually drag something back to make an L cut that looks sort of like this, you see? Or I can drag it the other way to make something that looks like a J cut. And then I would have something that looks like this. You know, you're a total idiot. And another thing, you can't call me an idiot. HitFilm Pro 2017 completely redesigned how you export your projects into files. And now HitFilm Express 2017 reflects that as well. It's a much better design than the old way that it was done. So let's say I have this project and I want to export it into an MP4. I'm going to left click on this export contents icon. It'll ask, hey, do you want to go to the export queue? And I say, yes. And here is the export queue. Look at all these presets that you have available. Plus, you can create your own. And let's say I want to export this in 2160p. And, but I also want to make a 1080p. So I'm going to right click on that, say duplicate that task. And now I'm going to make it 1080. And just for good measure, let's duplicate it one more time. And let's go with a 720. And, and now let me go back here. And I just want this piece right here from here to here. Right, so I'm gonna set some in and out points. If I click on this icon, now it's only the in and out points for that. Uh, and you could tell that one's only nine seconds, this is 36 seconds, that kind of a thing, right? Now, if I wanna open up a new project and then I want to uh, uh, pull some stuff out of there and export that, throw it in the queue, I can have a queue that goes way down to the very bottom. And then I'm getting ready to go to bed, brushing my teeth, I say, oh yeah, start exporting boom and then it starts on the top right up here and starts working its way down the list next morning i get up and it's all done and it's such a wonderful time saver HitFilm Pro 2017 has dynamic toolbox property searching for faster and improved workflow. And now, so does HitFilm Express 2017. And it's right here. So if I click on this, and let's say I just want to find anywhere where it says color, right? Like light colors, right? So for example, now I have the front light and the back light color. Let's say I wanted to change that color. I could easily and quickly change both of those by using the dynamic searching toolbox, right? If I wanted to search for something else, maybe I had several different music and I just wanted to look up MP3, right? Then I would have several different MP3s here that I could then play with, right? Maybe I just want to look up the light flares that are in this thing, right? Well, here they both are, and there's only two of them. But let's say there was a whole bunch of them, then I could go ahead and jump right on in there, right? So anything that is in this layers here within your composite shot, you can search for and immediately find. It makes it so much faster and so much easier to do your workflow in. Other things that you will find in this free and fully functional copy of HitFilm Express 2017 is improved 360 degree video tools. Also full support for ultra high definition. We're talking 2160p here, as well as the 4K monitors, right? If you own one of those retina monitors or the high DPI monitors displays, oh, you'll have full support for that as well. So I know that you're really gonna enjoy this. Go to hitfilm.com and follow the directions to get your free and fully functional copy of HitFilm Express 2017. And hey, thanks for watching.